Okay, so today we're going to make a DIY parasitic draw um, drain test tool. Okay, this is for testing your battery to check if your battery is dying in your car, your truck, your trailer, your boat, RV, whatever it is. Okay, mobile home, whatever it is with a you know those regular fuse. Um, there are, of course there are different methods and you can perform with just like a uh, a multimeter but that is actually a little bit harder with the multimeter because this is consistent with the multimeter so it makes your job a lot easier um, you know it, it, it will help you to find uh, and locate uh, what the drainage and and what it does and you know Basically, this tool makes things a lot faster um, to make things from dying, blah, 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 blah. Um, first, I'm going to tell you what you need. Of course, you always need your coffee. Um, that's a big plus. Um, you don't need um, soldering. You can just wire them all in because basically this is what our main... Um, main uh, device here. This is a 10 watt 1 ohm. Okay. So if you want to find that, it's 10 watts and 1 ohm uh, resistor. And I will list everything in the description. Uh, most of these are optional. Um, the only thing you really need is a container because I like to contain things. And if you know, notice some of my stuff, uh, of course you don't need it, but some of my stuff that I do, I'm pretty anal about certain things. Um, I am a perfectionist, so I kind of like, you know, do things to last. So this is just a container really that I'm going to sneak. I'm gonna put everything in. You're gonna need wires. Now, what, how long the wire needs to be? Well, I like mine to hang out in the car. So I'm gonna have like about three feet to this, to this end, and then another th three feet or maybe even longer so I can be inside a car or a truck. So basically it's about 10 feet of wire. I'm gonna do four feet on this side and I am going to do uh, six feet on this side. And basically, basically, without the wire, okay, basically what's gonna happen is here, then you're gonna have the wire coming through here. That's to go to your multimeter. And then you have this here to go to your battery. Remember, even though it's all red and black, it should have been just red and black alone. I mean black alone because we're going to, we, we use the negative side to do things. I will show you that in another video because this is not the video about teaching. I'm teaching you how to make the tool, not how to make the diagnostic. I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. Um, and you need heat shrink because after that, once I put the wire in and everything, I'm just going to put the heat shrink over that just to protect it. You don't have to because it's in the container, but I want to hold a wire at the same time. So that's why I'm doing it. And remember, all you have to do is wind the wire on this here. They give you a little thing where you can wind. See, that's why I said you don't need a soldering eye or anything. I'm just anal, so I'm going to use it. But you don't need it. See, they, you can just wind a wire to this side, wind a wire to this side, stick it to something or even a heat shrink and you're all set. But once you see the concept and I'll explain it at the end, you, you understand why you're going to need things like this. Because I want one, I wanted to make it and last me a lifetime. Or well, at least I'm going to try. Two, I don't want to like make something and then I have to remake it again and again and again. I'm one of those people that do things once, do things correctly, and everything's done. That's how I, uh, my mind works. That's how I function. Um, but you, like I said, you don't need to. You can just do this by winding the wire, but I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to do it the correct way, and I'm going to use 
it's just simple tools uh, and my and my um, soldering gun and these are just a simple tool cutters and stuff like that anyway that is about it and just like I said just some electrical wire but anyway this is an 18 gauge by the way 18 gauge and about 10 feet because I like I said I want to make it really long so um, the project cost on this is about five dollars um, if you buy on the market is about 20 to 30 dollars including shipping I saw one for about 30 30 dollars that's including shipping and um, so I'm gonna try to make it pretty much almost the same thing uh, but uh, because you make it at home and you're doing this you're making making profit blah 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 it's about ten dollars in parts uh, no actually I'm sorry about five dollars in parts and in labor you know that's that's the most but this is a DIY so it's of course a DIY why gonna cost you less but your time will probably be the same amount um, sometimes it's best to buy but in this case we're going to make one because this is a DIY anyway I'm going to pause, pause the video and then I'm going to put you on a tripod okay so now we're going to start this project and I hope you uh, would um, see a little bit better and I'm going to start with the end that it's going to go into the battery itself okay because that part there it's going to go into the battery and then the other part here is going to go into the multimeter remember one goes to the battery one goes to the other one so we're going to start with the battery first and of course the battery use alligator clips so um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to give you two methods okay and one method is to use this you can drop it in this way and fold it this way and clamp it in only when you don't have a soldering iron even with the soldering iron I still like to do it the same way and I'm going to demonstrate this on the video really quick. Like I said, even when I have it, I still do it. So I'm going to solder right onto here. You see this part here? I'm just going to put some soldering on there. And I love about desoldering because it takes really fast and quick and simple. Whoops. Oops. I should do it on the thing there. No, I have to clean this. Oops, I have to turn my fan on. Okay, I'm sorry. It's going to be a little loud. Just for a few minutes. Just to get the smoke out because I just started this thing. Now remember, you can do, you can make different diagnostic on these and performing drainage, battery drainage, overnight drainage. Um, you can use for, to even check your alternator to see if your alternator is working okay. Uh, of course, this is the main thing is to test the battery from dying. Okay, let me shut that off. Um, you know, it helps you locate the drainage on your battery faster. That's what basically, that's what this is. Now it's sticking because I didn't clean the tip. And see, it's all you have to do. Then, you would fold it this way. Okay, I'm going to fold it first. And then I'll clamp it and I'll show it to you. Wait, sorry. Let me put this down for a second. They made it in the way that you can just fold over. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to fold over into it. Like this. That's why I said you don't need a soldering iron. Because see? Clamp it like that. And see, it holds into it. 
hope you can see his clothes up. Let's see if they got spanning out. I'm not sure. But that's what it looks like. And then you just slide this back. See? That's it. Now, you're doing on the negative end. And make sure to put your sleeve on first. Do the same thing. Touch it with your paste. And then put it right there. And get a little soldering onto it. And remember, clean your tips. It helps it better. Help it to stick. And it takes two seconds. Let me turn it on again. for the noise and then fold it over again on itself fold it over the wire over so you're using the wire and the soldering to make this to prolong so you can't yank you see that it's prevented from yanking and that's why I said yes I am a little anal when it comes to things like this because I want things to last I take a little bit extra time to do things, but later on in life, I don't have to worry. Now, this probably will last me a lifetime because that's how I do things. And that's it on this end. Now, you go the other end, and since it's going into here, remember the battery. It's going to go into this hole right here, and then you want to drop this in because I want heat shrink tubes so I want to drop it in here that's later that's the last step okay you want it on one end of this go to one side here and the other end go to the other side so I'm gonna perform that really quick and then I'll let you see I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep all the 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 things the color coordinated so that way it will be easy for you to see and it will be easy for you to keep uh, you know in touch of records of it or whatever it would say I don't know how to use that words but okay now we are going to put I hope you can see because I don't like I said in my other videos I don't really like doing close-up videos but I don't really have a choice I'll just touch it to here and it's only two seconds, you see that? On the other side, do the same thing. Because remember, one side goes this way, one side goes that way. That's all you have to remember. Maybe you go one short, one side short, one side long, because then you know. Because remember, it goes one end to the other end. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it really nice looking. See how the thing I right hear? It doesn't look really nice. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to unsolder it. And I am going to do it like this. So it would be really nice. I'm going to cut this off a little bit. And now, what's my favorite tool? Nail clipper. I tell you, nail clipper is the best tool to cut things with. I know a lot of people don't like idiots, certain idiots. I, I find one pulse one time and I told them, believe it or not, a nail clipper helped me make thousands of dollars. Yes, you heard correctly. Thousands of dollars just by using a nail clipper. Yep. But anyway. Hey, they already sell millions of dollars selling the nail clipper, eh? Hey, that actually helped them too, right? Anyway. But you know how stupid people are. Anyway. People are just idiots sometimes. I swear I don't like to say things like that because you know you're offending people, but you know, during posts and stuff sometimes, like you want it to help somebody. 
they'll just say some crap with you and stuff and I don't know but anyway I guess I'm just mumbling now on this end here you can drill it or you can use in my case I'm gonna use this to do it I'm just I just need two little holes so I'm gonna use a thing to do it okay That's all you really need is a little hole to go through. See that? Okay. Now we're gonna match it on this end. Do the same thing. And do the positive first because it's over here. Do it on this end. I know I'm a little anal. I'm sorry. But like I stated before, I like to do things once and one only. One time and one time only. You ain't gonna find me doing this again. Unless this thing dies, of course. Then I have no choice. But if this thing don't die, I'm not doing this again. Oops, I needed to make it longer. I have to redo that side again. It's really simple, to be honest. Probably wouldn't take more time to edit this video. I can probably make 10 of these just for editing the video alone. Can you imagine? Yep. Editing videos is, takes a long time. Well, I'm not a pro. Never was, never will be either. But It just takes a long time to make videos. Because you have to render it. You have to do this. You have to edit this out. Sometimes it's things that you said in the thing that you don't want it to say. Because then people would get offended. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to cut this. This is extra. So, you, I try not to. So it takes longer, believe it or not, it takes longer. I'll show you at the end how it looks and how nice it's gonna look. I mean, after all, I want it to look like professional. See, that's all there is. See that? That's all there is. There's nothing to it, you're just adding on Two Y's on this side, two Y, but it happened to be the opposite of each other. And that's it. Now, I can seal it. So this is where my heating gun comes in. And see, I'm going to fit right over it. Oops, it's hitting this thing. right there now you don't need that enclosure you can just do it like this if you want you don't need it literally you don't need this part right here at all I just want to make it because I have it it's a jump rope and now I'm just gonna seal it See, literally you can just do it like I do right here and just y'all done Believe it or not, this project will probably take you less than 10, than, 10, than 10 minutes. Not even, to be honest. Okay. Now it's all sealed. And look, it'll never come out. You can leave it just like that. See? You can yank on it or whatever. But me, yeah. I'm just a little anal. Now, you're going to see the concept. Now, you just drop it inside here. And then you close this up. And you're almost done. Ta-da. See? So, on blue, you can do this. You can get a pen and do it. If, like a marker. It's big enough. As long as it's big enough. I just do this because, like I said, I'm just, 
I'm just anal. So this wire just goes to here, as you can see, and then it goes to the two clamps. Now, we have to take care of the other side, which is the clip alligators. Uh, sorry, that's not an alligator. It's, um, what are those things called? Oh, I can't think on top of my head. Sorry. Sometimes I just can't think think on top of my head. A banana. Sorry. So the trick is, the banana goes into here. See? So to make things easier for you. So you just plug in the mad banana into your multimeter. That's all there is. So now, I am just going to make it really easy. You strip this to here, and then you use these little bullet things to make life easier for you. You don't have to. Literally, you can just stick it in there and screw it on. But you know, you already heard it earlier. I'm just a little crazy. I know. I can't help it. I'm a perfectionist. So, sometimes it's actually good to be a perfectionist, but sometimes it's actually bad to be a perfectionist. So, it works both ways. But then again, a perfectionist don't have to do this again. So, that's the good part. So, you insert this in and stick it all the way through and then use this to clamp it and you're gonna see the concept in two seconds see it doesn't come out okay I'm actually gonna put a little soldering on here because I have the soldering right here, right? Sometimes I don't trust it because it does come out, but because I don't trust it, I'm just gonna solder it. Just like that. This is just actually, it will help you to go to, to make the contact into these things right here. I'll show you in a minute. So let me do this really quick. So basically that's what these little thing does. It doesn't do anything. To be honest it just helps you to prolong this part from yanking wire yanking blah 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 so literally you can just leave it like that right there but nope not me I'm gonna add a little soldering in there so it stay for the rest of his life it only took me two seconds. You can always repair it again and again because that end, sometimes but the banana is so cheap, it does it. So, okay, now what I'm gonna do, like I always said, I have to go and get my favorite uh, wire clipping tool because I don't have it here. I should have got that before. Not thinking as always. I will be right back. Takes me two seconds. And here it is. So I'm just going to cut the tip off a little bit. And voila. That's what it looks like. Okay. Then. You use this to insert it, but I need a screwdriver, a little one, and see you open it from here, and then you insert it in. Remember, I squeeze that part so it can go in. You see how nice that goes in? It takes two seconds, and then tighten it back up again, and that's it. That's all you're doing. So basically, I'm just doing to prolong this thing. Open this up a little bit. 
We're already done, it's just to let you know. And insert that in. And then tighten it. Tighten the screw up. That's it. Like I said, it takes me less time to do 10 of these. I can probably do 10 of these while I'm editing together. So now here, I'm going to show you one more time. So you follow the wire to here. Then this part here just hangs. And it goes all the way to here. And then back to your alligator clip and you clip this onto the negative side of the car, boat, whatever you have. The other side, you would plug it into here. Your positive and your negative. And then you turn to your voltage. And then you will start performing your test. So, but that's not about, this is not about that video. This is about making it. I will show you that in a different video and then I'll link it to here. Okay. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And it's easy as that. I will link everything in the description to make this. So now I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to do my thumbnails. Um, but other than that, that's about it on this video. I'm going to wind it all together so you can see. And now you will have this for a lifetime to test all your vehicles, whatever, anything that to do with drainage. 12 volt, a uh, car, truck, RV, boat, whatever. Okay, other than that, that's about it on this video, and I hope that is useful to you. Um, I'll see you in the next video.